Hi guys, what's up? It's Miss USA Asia Branch, and in this video, I'm going to be answering fan questions. So let's get started. The first question is, who is your female icon? This one's so easy, Beyonce. I love Beyonce. When I was little, I would put on a full Beyonce concert, full performance in my living room for my family. I had all of her CDs, all the Destiny's Child albums, and I just have them on repeat in my Hello Kitty CD player, as loud as I could blare it in my bedroom, putting on a full on concert, even to myself. So Queen Bee, I salute you. You're amazing. And you know, I will continue being a fan till the day I die. Second question. How are you settling in with your new roommate, Zosie? You know, you guys, I honestly was a little nervous just because, you know, when someone has built a bond with someone else, you don't ever want to come in between that. But honestly, we get along so well and she's the sweetest person. And so it's been such an honor and a privilege being able to live with her and um, share this space. We've had so much fun and um, she's just a great person to be around. So we're settling in very well. <laughs> what is your favorite book? I feel like I have to refer to my Bible so often to get me through hardships in life and just confusion and all different sorts of things. So I always turn to my Bible, but if I had to pick another book other than the Bible, I would say probably the most beneficial um, in helping me guide my life would have to be Kristen Dalton's The Sparkle Effect because it was just very guiding and throughout this journey and was very, very helpful to me. And it was a blessing to me to have read it before I competed. So that one is probably um, the most beneficial when it comes to this journey that I'm on. Um, it's the best suiting um, book. Next question. What would you tell any young girl who wanted to do pageants for the first time? I say go for it. If you do it and you don't fully enjoy it, then it may not be for you, but at least you can say you tried and I guarantee you'll take something away from it. Pageants are just an outlet. They're an opportunity, not only for you to make lifelong incredible friendships, but for you to learn more about yourself, learn about the people around you and be able to interact and engage with people who have differing beliefs or who may come from different places and different backgrounds, different cultures. It's just an opportunity to bring so many different women together and allow you to show your talents and your passions and and really show exude that confidence that that you know you've worked so hard on and and so you don't have to have the most expensive dress you don't have to um, work with the most expensive coaches just be true to who you are figure out what your purpose is in life and and really play on that so you go for it how was your experience at Ole Miss Honestly, you guys, Ole Miss is like a big family and support system for me. They welcomed me back with open arms after I was crowned Miss USA and have just been so supportive of me. And so I'm grateful for Ole Miss and my experience there and the organizations I was able to be a part of. I'm grateful for Ole Miss and all that they've done for me. And I'm grateful for all of my experiences there because they truly are amazing and have definitely helped shape me. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? If I could go anywhere, I would probably go to Greece just because from the pictures and everything that I've seen, it's so beautiful. Pictures are amazing, but there's just nothing like seeing something in person. So I'm gonna say Greece. I mean, there's a million other places that I'd love to go. I'd actually love to see everywhere in the world, but you know, I'm gonna try to make that happen before I die, but you never know. So I'm just gonna keep putting things on the top of my list, but definitely Greece or Asia or Australia <laughs> are on the top. <laughs> what advice do you have for victims of cyberbullying? People in this world are cruel and unfortunately, they take it out on other people um, without thinking about how it may affect that person and, and it's truly unfortunate. But the way I see it is, if someone has something so negative and ugly to say about you, especially if they've never even met you, um, and don't know you on a personal level, they're just seeing surface level on social media or wherever, just know that they're probably dealing with something themselves and it's not necessarily you, but some people who, who deal with hardships in their lives, for some odd reason, like to take them out on others. So just be the bigger person, block, delete. Those are two very simple buttons that you can press. You hold the power, so block them, delete them. Don't allow people to bring negativity to your account. Because if you want to spread positivity, then that's what you do. And you don't allow, allow anyone to, to take away from that. What is something you can't live without? Obviously, other than the basics, the bare necessities, um, 
I'm gonna say dogs. I feel like they should be a necessity. Dogs are literally so stress relieving. They're so caring. They're so devoted and loyal. And it's just so amazing. Like we don't deserve dogs. I could go on a whole little tangent there, but anywho, I could not live without dogs. What does female empowerment mean to you? It's knowing that as a woman, you are powerful yet valuable and you're capable of accomplishing anything. So never let anyone make you feel less valuable than you know that you are and never let anyone make you feel less than because you're a woman. Female empowerment is about uplifting ourselves and those around us to know that we can accomplish anything in this world. Women are taking up space and taking over.